Once again, welcome to Malta, the country of the most photogenic door. Today, we're actually taking a step behind this magical door, because every front door eventually leads to a kitchen. And today's mission is tasting what Malta can cook for us. And we're doing it in the paste of the island, slow and with pleasure. I'm taking you with me to some of the best-reviewed affordable restaurants and cafes around the island to answer what's really worth your time and money. And no, I'm absolutely not just sending you to a bakery in this video. <laughs> Our first stop is in Valita, in Beati Paoli restaurant, rated 4.7 stars. We started off with some recommended local white wine while we waited for our food orders, which took a while. The pasta orders started arriving first. What you can see on our plates is actually the lunch size, not the entry size, since they have two options. And to be frank, portions are really small. I took pasta carbonara and my friend went for seafood pasta and we barely finished since both of the dishes were incredibly salty. The last order was fresh sea bass with potatoes. But my friend wasn't too keen on the fish as well. It didn't seem quite right or fresh either, so this restaurant for us is a complete and utter fail. In desperate need of some cheering up, we sure are. And what better way to do it than with a lot of chocolate. So still in Valita, we found Sunday in Scotland, which was rated 4.8 stars. Guys, welcome to heaven. Fabulous decor and delicious cake. We got the last free table when we arrived. With nightfall, the place started emptying. Chocolate raspberry cake, chocolate on chocolate cake with chocolate mousse and some flan. We can't decide a winner. You're even gifted some homemade chocolate while coffee stands up to Italian reputation. Not the cheapest, but definitely one of the best treats in town. The sun is going down on Valita and it's time to get some rest. Ready for dinner? You've guessed it, it's fish today. But we have to reach them first, by boat. Well, a bigger boat. And a car drive on the left side of the road to reach the magnificent Gozo Island. And voila, Kbayar restaurant. This time rated 4.6 stars and beyond all others by taste. The simple appetizer with some help of the local wine made a great start. For the main course, I went for the lightest, creamiest seafood risotto, while Jiva on my right couldn't resist the daily menu of chicken tortillas. And Polona on my opposite continued with the seafood theme. She ordered risotto with shrimps and zucchini. The food was fresh, full of flavor and delicious. The last surprise is a 3D menu of desserts to choose from and a coffee for the driver. In the end, it all came down to surprising 54 euros for a hefty delicious meal and three utmost content customers. Back on the mainland, it was our last day of vacation. Starting the day right, we went for some hot coffee in Marsakluk. On the main square, just bordering the shore, there's a Costa Cafe. And I just can't get enough of cappuccinos. <laughs> but in reality, it's all about the atmosphere of this place. It substitutes for the rather pricey yet delicious drinks. So, so make sure to enjoy yourself. Just a minute's walk by the docks, there's a line of restaurants with local fish dishes. We went for the one with the most guests. A dummy-proof move when you're trying to infiltrate local favorites. Well, at least it was before the pandemic. The Pieces restaurant has a mediocre rating, so we were ready for anything. But it wasn't half that bad. I was hungry. <laughs> we saw this as our last opportunity for proper seafood and pasta, so we went all in. We went for all the tricky ones, the measles, mushrooms, octopus, and it's safe to say we were all fine at the end of the day. 
the food was definitely fresh. Price-wise, head down to this place. You get your money's worth, not to mention your lunching surrounded by beautiful scenery in the heart of Marsaklok. Not as average as the reviews say, if you ask me. Out of all the places we dined at, only the restaurant in Valita with great reviews was a total miss. The rest were a great deal and absolutely delicious. Did any of them catch your eye? Let me know if you checked them out. Which one did you like the best? Thanks so much for watching guys and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!